welcome to my home. I am so happy to have you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to make a turkey Mexican lasagna. And it's super easy, something you can totally do during the work week, and it'll be something that the entire family can enjoy. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is put a little olive oil in your pan. I don't even know if this is the totally correct thing to do, but I just do it. And then turn on Cook this sucker up until it's no longer pink. And you can also add a little salt and peppers, which I'm going to do first. Super simple, super light, and honestly, it's so good. There's really no wrong way to cook ground turkey. It's pretty easy. As soon as you see the turning like this whitish color and not so pink, then you're looking good. All right, turkey's good. It's all cooked. Uh, I'll make sure I taste it. Just make sure that it's looking good. I'm looking at the lighting. These are the ingredients that I chose. Green peppers, olive, cheese, salsa, and black beans. And one of my other things that I did, I used Greek yogurt. So if you want to do sour cream, more power to you. I'm sure it'll be awesome. So go get her done. All right. So I'm using an 8x8 pan. You can really use whatever works best for you, but for this dish, I think it works perfect. So what we're gonna do now is evenly cover the bottom of the pan with some tortillas. So I'm gonna cut them to fit, and then we'll go from there. These probably aren't the most beautiful slices you could do, but at the end of the day, is it gonna matter? No. So I'm just gonna slice this sucker up and cover up any part of the pan that doesn't have the flour tortilla. Nobody's gonna see if it's not even or super snazzy. Nobody cares. As long as it tastes good, you can show it off to your family and friends. And you have leftovers and don't have to make dinner tomorrow, then you're all set. Okay, it's good. Just a quick side note. As far as chopping goes, I'm not a big chopper. I burn my hands and cut my fingers way too many times. So, as you can see, our green peppers are already evenly chopped up. You're good to go. And this sucker is the Vidalia Chop Lizard. This thing rules. All you gotta do is cut your big pieces of pepper, throw it in, and close it up. It comes in two sizes and honestly saves you so much time and so much energy. Okay. All our uh, layering items are already prepped except for the black beans, so I'm going to uh, strain them and then uh, rinse them off. Rinse these suckers off. And that should be pretty good. Shake them off. And we're ready to assemble. Okay, so we have all our ingredients. Everything's chopped, prepped. It's time to assemble so we can eat. Because I am hungry. So, first thing starts, we're gonna do a layer of turkey over your tortillas. Pretty simple enough. We'll make two layers total, so five, obviously, just use half the first time. And I used a total of one pound of the ground turkey. is a layer of beans. So just put them evenly over the top. And these are nice. It makes the dish so much more hearty and filling. And if you got a hungry husband with a good appetite like I do, it's always a bonus. Okay. Those suckers are done. Then we are going to use some green pepper. You can use any kind of pepper. Even if you want to get spicy, you can always get like uh, jalapenos or, you know, anything as spicy or as mild as you want to make it. Now I will top it off with some of these olives. This is just pan black olives. They're kind of salty, but I like that. So 
you use a little more salt in one part of the recipe and then you take it off and it all evens out in the end. All right, so we got that. Next, I'm gonna put a little bit of this Greek yogurt. It's just plain Greek yogurt. You can buy a little small container of it at the grocery store if you don't feel like getting the big stuff. And I just put it evenly on top. Makes me feel a little bit better about eating this because I'm not covering it with sour cream. But sour cream is also delicious. And I'm in my house, so if I want to lick my fingers, I'm going to. But if you're serving it to uh, a bunch of friends or random family members, I guess maybe you can be considered. Okay, now we are going to cover it up with a little bit of salt. There's so many different kinds you like. It's like you can get, you can get mild, you can get hot, you can get mango, you can get whatever you want. So, that should be good for that layer. And the best part, cheese. Uh, Mexican cheese, I'm using cheddar cheese today because it's what I had in the house and I don't feel like going back to the store. But really, cheese is cheese. So whatever your favorite preference is, Okay, so that's our first layer. We're gonna layer it up a second time, and then I'll show you how we top it off before we pop it in the oven. Okay guys, we're all assembled and we're gonna go. So we're gonna throw this sucker in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes, and after that, we'll be ready to dig it. Okay, our lasagna is almost finished, but I'm gonna top it off with some green onion. You can also top it off with some avocado if you have it, which is probably the best, and more salsa, but I don't have either of those things. So green onion will add some nice color and nice flavor to the top of the dish. Okay, timer's done. We're gonna pull this sucker out of the oven and see how it grows. Let me know what you think below. Thanks again. Cheerio!